for the next project on the tool changer. Assemble. I need a 12 volt power supply in addition to the 24 volt power supply. It is a research platform after all. For this reason, I will show you in this tutorial how to arrange the electrical wiring in a way that I can easily integrate additional electrical devices in the future. To do so, I will replace the existing active cooled power supply with two passive and silent power supplies in 24 volt and in 12 volt. I will implement the connection via convenient Vago 221 terminals, which are operated without tools and connect wires of all kinds. For these terminals, I have printed mounts in different colors, so that hopefully nothing will be mixed up in the future. Okay, here we go. In order to remove the old power supply, all cables have to be unscrewed first. This is how the two power supplies will be mounted later. Link to the exact models in the video description. Since I use an existing hole for the lower mounting point, I just have to drill a hole at the top. The power supplies will then be mounted on the same spacers as the duet already is. I orient the power supplies with the main side down. This is the 230 volt distribution block and this is the ground terminal block. These are made of the mentioned Vago 221 terminal connectors, into which you can plug almost any kind of cable end and a printed mount. Link to all STRs in the video description. The Vago terminals can be easily pressed into the printed part and then pulled tight as a rock. I use a straight edge to align the printed parts. After drilling the holes, I screw the printed mounts in place with 12mm M4 screws and self-locking nuts.
Using the straight edge as a spacer also makes it easy to align and secure the 230 volt distribution block. Next to the 12 volt power supply, the 12 volt and 24 volt terminal mounts are positioned. Because V6 heater blocks fit exactly, I use them as spacers. The terminal mounts are attached in the same way as before. The cable ends of the power supplies are already stripped and tinned and can therefore be clamped directly into the Vago terminals. However, the cables for grounding on the main side are a little short. I therefore remove the rubber sleeve a bit more. As you can see, it is very convenient and fast to connect the cables without any tools.
Finally, I secure the cables with a cable tie. Then, I simply cut off the cable lugs of the existing wires. After I have stripped off the insulation from the wires, I can insert them into the Vago terminals too. For the 24 volt supply line for the Duet, I also just remove the cable lugs and then connect the cables to the 24 volt terminal block. Pay attention to the correct polarity. Last but not least, the mains connection for the high power heated bed. Just cut the cable lugs as before, strip the ends and plug them in. Done. This is how you can mount two different power supplies in the tool changer and I can use my assemble tool. Finally! If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss upcoming videos with interesting content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you would like to support me and receive exclusive benefits in exchange, check out my Patreon, where all my designs are available for download too. In case you got any questions to this video, leave a comment, I read them all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.